It's just a not suitable for any living creature. Which this is definitely from like 2004 or something. Moist and warm. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're gonna take a quick break from some fish content and we're gonna switch on over to a hermit crab video. It has been such a long time since I have done a hermit crab video, but you guys do seem to love them. So comment below, I guess, if you wanna see more hermit crab content. I hope I didn't just break it. Do you think I broke it? Do you, do you think I broke it? But I got something in this box here today that I just really wish did not exist. So let me show you what's in the box. Okay, I forgot scissors. So we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Before I finish opening this box, I'm curious to see if any of you know what this is going to be. So I may have put it in the thumbnail, but if I didn't, comment down below what you think it's going to be. It is a hermit crab something. It's a hermit crab, it's, a, it's an extremely bad hermit crab product. Oh my gosh, I can already see some of this. Why is this, why is this a thing? Do you guys see this? Here's a better look. No. Also, why is the box so big for something so small? But right here, we have the Hermit Crab Eight Plus. What is this? And what is worse than the actual thing itself is the price I paid for it, which was $6. And you may be thinking, hey, $6 is a great deal. Why are you complaining about the price? Just means that people are so much more likely to buy the complete starter kit than buying the stuff that they actually should, that's actually suitable for the animal. I didn't really look at what it comes with, but I am interested to see how complete this Hermit Crab Kit Plus actually is. Little well, side note, I think it's funny that they put not suitable for children under three years of age. No, it should say not suitable for any living creature. Can we make it say that? Thank you. All right, let's open it. So right off the bat, I mean, you can just tell this is definitely marketed for kids because we have little Hermie the Hermit Crab here smiling and all cartoon looking like. There's also kids on it, which this is definitely from like 2004 or something. And it comes with this jungle background to really make the Hermit Crab feel like it's in its natural habitat. And then it has the nerve to say, also great for reptiles, amphibians, spiders, and insects. We saw how big this thing is, right? Well, on all this packaging, there is nothing that actually indicates that this is actually going to be a good habitat for a hermit crab. So now let's get to setting up. How do you even open this thing? All right. So for starters, we have this pretty basic lid. It looks kind of like a critter keeper, if you guys are familiar with those. It has this lookout window thingy, I guess to like feed it. How do you even open this? Yeah, there's a decent amount of breathing room. It also is partially covered. So here's the only thing I'm gonna say so far. The lid I'm actually gonna give a four out of 10 only because it is very, very sturdy and and it's not completely ventilated, which means that it could hold some humidity, but only a four out of 10 guys, maybe not even, maybe like a two out of 10. I don't know, nothing about this deserves anything really higher than a four out of 10, no. That's not even true. Just the size of this alone is a zero out of 10, a negative 1000. I figured out the lid. So it's it's pretty complicated, but you have to like slide it back and then you can open it. All the technology that they use to create this and patent this, why didn't we just make it bigger and not plastic? I just don't know. That's enough about the lid, let's, let's continue. Ah, a complete hermit crab starter kit. Let's see what we have. We have useless items, more useless items. And my favorite of all, the most useless item. Looks like an orange. I'm really tempted to eat it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we have a sponge, which is wrapped really well for some reason. We have this little bag of gravel, again, for some reason. And my favorite thing is that we have two little branches, some fake plants, and this nice little wire mesh. And if you don't know, wire mesh is actually extremely bad for hermit crabs. Not only is it bad for them, but metal in a hermit crab cage is really bad because it tends to rust and the rust is also toxic. What I'm looking at right now is nowhere near a complete hermit crab cage. Do not be fooled. Well, I guess it's time that we set her up. This is supposed to house a hermit crab. Then I guess we put our gravel, and for the purposes of the video, I will not be rinsing it, but you should always make sure your stuff is sanitized before putting it into a hermit crab enclosure. I do not have a hermit crab. I will not be putting a hermit crab in here. Okay, the rocks. That's like the worst noise ever. Terrible. I love how there is not room for a single more pebble. They literally put the exact amount to fit in this little like part down here. They were like, this is specifically made for the rocks and we are making just enough rocks in this bag 
to go in here. Now we have, oh wait, no, we should set up this first because the sponge basically has no purpose anyway. But this is gonna be next. I'm trying not to cut myself. There really should be like, a, is there a safety warning on this? Cause I, it said not suitable for children under three, but honestly, I think that, oh, there, oh, we have some reading to do. This is literally from the year 2000. That makes a lot of sense. Back to what I was saying. I feel like there should be a warning label like for the metal because it's not the least sharp item. Well, we have our nice fake plant here. Time for some ASMR. So I guess we'll just put this in here. It has this little like cup thingy to like put the rocks in, I guess, to keep it stable. It's not even tall. It's too tall for the aquarium. Cage thing. All right, well, I guess it's staying like that. Then we have two twigs. They call them branches, but I'm gonna call them twigs. Oh, and I forgot my mesh. I gotta put my mesh in here because apparently hermit crabs just love to climb wire mesh. Oh, this is getting messy. There's like no room for anything. How does this even fit in here? There's not enough rocks to hold everything down. Let's just carefully place the twig here because, oh, sorry, branch. Let's carefully place the branch here because those large hermit crabs, you know, we don't want them to break it. A large hermit crab balancing on this. It just like make it look so natural. Like no one has ever seen a hermit crab cage this good. Now it's time for our little tangerine. How do you even open this? Well, I just, I broke the sponge. <laughs> this seems like a dish sponge. This isn't even like a sea sponge or anything. I'm just gonna peel my clementine. Tell me it doesn't look delicious. Like I know it's a sponge, but it just looks like a clementine and it looks delicious. So we're just gonna put this in here. It's ready. That's Wait, wait, wait. It's ready. For our baby hermit crabs. I can't wait to bring them home and put them in this luxurious home. Okay, all jokes aside, this thing is absolutely terrible. I don't know if these are still in production, but I really hope they're not because they should have never been in the first place. But I don't even know how a hermit crab is supposed to move in here. There's essentially an inch like on both sides, like of anything. I'm really not sure how this is supposed to be a complete hermit crab kit, especially for those larger hermit crabs. They couldn't even be in here. I'm not sure why this was ever made, but don't buy this because it, it's literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life for hermit crabs. I'm sure there's worse, but this is pretty bad. That guy here is not gonna be happy living in this. And now some reading material. It's important that you keep your new hermit crab friend moist and warm. Here are a few helpful hints. Hints, not tips, not care guide, hints. We have to figure it out ourselves. Provide clean, damp slash wet sponge included or moss to provide the essential moisture and humidity. Or the hint that I'm getting from this, like this hint is telling me that this isn't suitable. You need some sort of substrate that's actually going to provide, oh, there's so many things wrong. But to actually keep in moisture, there's a bunch of different things you could do or should do. And having a damp, wet sponge that's included is not gonna solve your problem. Select an appropriate location for your new Hermit Crab Kit Plus that's not too close to radiators or direct sunlight. Room temperature should be kept between 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, at least I got something kind of right. Fresh, clean drinking water and food should be available at all times. Check with your local pet shop for pelleted hermit crab foods, which will provide a staple diet. You can also treat your hermit crab with fresh fruits and vegetables. You can easily clean your hermit crab tank and accessories two to three times a month. So yes, it does need water as do pretty much every li living thing. But what they forgot is that you need to have fresh water and salt water, not just fresh water, fresh water and salt water. So that's the hint. They were hinting that we need water, but they didn't want to tell us what water, or how much of each we needed. And then it also says you can easily clean your hermit crab tank. What do you mean easily? How about saying you need to clean your hermit crab tank? And I'm not mad at them saying two to three times a month if it were an appropriate cage, but it's not. I love how they put a thing on the bottom that says important. Your new hermit crab is always growing and will outgrow its shell. Be sure to have an assortment of larger shells inside your new hermit crab kit plus so it can find an appropriate size shell. Where am I where where am I fitting extra shells in here aside from the actual hermit crab that's supposed to be in here? Where are these extra shells, larger shells fitting in here? Tell me, where? Because I, I don't see a place. All I have to say is that I will make a video of everything you need for a hermit crab. This is definitely not everything. It's not even close. This, none of this stuff is even appropriate. And I don't even know why these things are being produced or were being produced. Why you can even buy them. You, I give it a zero out of 10. This thing is just so small. And everything inside of it is inaccurate. And all their instructions, I'm sorry, their hints aren't even really good either. None of this is providing accurate hermit crab care or even instructions. My friends is just not it. Well, if you like hermit crab content or you like me to review bad cages, definitely let me know. Leave a like down below if you like the content. Comment like I just said. And hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys with a brand new video very soon. Bye.